In this video, I'm doing a full in-depth walkthrough of the T-Mobile application, including how to add a line to your account, check your usage for minutes, texts, and data, how to pay your bill, view historical bills, get support, and more. This is the T-Mobile application. You can find it on the Apple App Store, actually linked in the video description. It's got 4.8 stars and is actually a pretty decent application. So let's just jump right into it. The first tab here is the Home tab. This gives you an overview of your account and at a glance information. You can see a section here for your usage. In my case, I have four days remaining in my billing cycle and you can tap to get the details. This just brings up additional information of your current usage, your data usage, messages usage, calls, and mobile hotspot usage. For additional information, you can actually tap check usage details and this brings you to an awesome area of the application where you can view your historical data usage. Now you can view this for the account as whole, or you can break it down by line of the account. I only have one line on my account here, so it's just showing me my information like so. If you had multiple lines, then you could view them here as well and how much data they are using. You can also tap manage data, and this will bring you to a section where you can purchase additional add-ons, such as T-Mobile's $10 a month, 10 gig smartphone mobile hotspot add-on. Jumping back to the home section now and scrolling down here, you can see other deals and promotions T-Mobile is running. You can add a person or device to your account. You can see your plan perks. I'm on T-Mobile Essentials, so I basically just get T-Mobile Tuesdays, uh, but I do have the option to see what else I get as a customer. And you can see other promotions T-Mobile is running right now. Uh, they're currently promoting their T-Vision service. That's the home tab. The next tab is the account tab. This is where you can view and manage the line settings for each individual line and the line add-ons. So first up top, you can view plans and usage. In my case, I see T-Mobile Essentials. You can view all of the benefits of your plan here, including how much high-speed data you get, which is unlimited for all plans, your mobile hotspot data, and you can view basically other features of the account, such as simple global texting, uh, optimized video streaming. That's basically code for 480p standard definition and other specific features of your account, as well as your auto pay discount. Up top, you can tap on usage. This brings you back into that usage section we were at earlier that we jumped into from the homepage, and you can tap check usage details to jump back into that detailed breakdown of your account usage. This is really helpful for determining how much data you actually need per month and could be a good indication if you could potentially switch to a more affordable plan like Mint Mobile or US Mobile that offer 35 gigs and 30 gigs respectively each for just $30 per month. So those are pretty awesome deals and if you use less than 30 gigs per month, I suggest you consider them because they could help save you money on your cell phone bill, which is what I'm all about. So that is the account tab. The last setting here is you can add a person or device. This is where you can add a phone, tablet, smartwatch, or connected device. And if you tap on any one of these, you have the option to either buy a new phone, which of course T-Mobile wants you to do, or you can bring your own device. Tapping on a new phone basically opens up the add a line shop page. And if you were to add a tablet line, that's where you could add a tablet and T-Mobile will show you all the available tablet lines as well. Now, interestingly, if you go through this process, I'm just gonna quickly select an iPad Air here. You have the option to pay in full or do a monthly financing. I typically prefer to pay in full today. And at the end here, you can see your total for adding the device to your account. This is a little misleading. The $10 for the SIM card is correct, but your due monthly may vary as you get a $40 discount if you have an existing voice line with T-Mobile. In my case, I'm on T-Mobile Essentials and the tablet plan is actually $20 a month. It's their T-Mobile Unlimited Tablet TE plan and you can see the full details here. And I'll have a separate video where I cover everything you need to know about T-Mobile's different tablet offerings. That'll be linked up here as soon as it's ready. Closing out and actually adding the new line to the account, uh, we're gonna go through here. So I'm gonna skip the trade in and T-Mobile will prompt you with some protection plan. This is really expensive over $180 per year for what T-Mobile calls Protect 360. So you tap no, I'll take my chances, and then no thanks again. T-Mobile really pushing that. You're gonna wanna skip accessories. Again, T-Mobile trying to get you to buy more than you actually need. And at this stage, 
when T-Mobile is reviewing your order, this is where you can see the true cost of the service. In my case, T-Mobile is factoring in that $40 discount, so the tablet line is $20 per month. So that is how you add a new tablet, smartphone, or smartwatch line to your T-Mobile account. The third tab here is the bill tab. This shows you your upcoming bill, you can make a payment, you can manage your auto pay settings, and you have more payment options. You can see some highlights from your last bill, what's changed in the past month, and you can even see a detailed breakdown of your service charges for the plan, any equipment or device financing charges, and everything else you're being billed for in T-Mobile. You can also view a full PDF of your bill. You can view a summary bill or a detailed bill I always love viewing the detailed bill where you get a full breakdown of what you're paying for your plans, equipment, and services. What's really cool is I actually switched plans mid-cycle and you can see T-Mobile credited me $28 for the remainder of my Magenta service, but also charged me a prorated amount for T-Mobile Essentials when I switched to it mid-cycle. So I got refunded $28 for T-Mobile Magenta and then paid $21 for a prorated service for T-Mobile Essentials for the remainder of that billing cycle. So that is the T-Mobile billing section. Again, a great way to sort of manage and monitor your T-Mobile account and billing. The fourth tab is the shop tab. This is where you can purchase a new phone, take advantage of special offers, and of course you can either lease the phone or pay full price up front. I'm a big fan of paying full price up front, uh, but of course with T-Mobile, if you wanna take advantage of a leasing deal or agreement, uh, that's totally okay as well. The final tab here is the more tab and here you can manage your T-Mobile profile. This gives you additional settings and preferences for things such as billing and payments, your T-Mobile ID and login information, your line settings, military verification, language settings, and some additional settings like family control and multiple devices. Going back, and there are other settings here for getting support, checking order status, finding a store, contacting T-Mobile, and referring a friend and earning up to $500 per year in prepaid MasterCard cards. So that's pretty cool, and if you're not taking advantage of it, I suggest you do. Finally, across all of the tabs in the T-Mobile application, you can see there is a chat icon in the top right. This opens up a chat with a T-Mobile support specialist where you can ask questions and get help with your T-Mobile account, plan, devices, or anything else you have questions about. And that is the full detailed breakdown of the T-Mobile application. Please click the like button if you found this video helpful and visit my website, bestphoneplans.net to easily compare plans, prices, and features. I'm Stetson, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.